Do not book no bullshit ass low like this. Repeat. Do not book no bullshit ass low like this. Then it's good. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys listening. Listen, this just came across my desk today. A lot of people that are in trucking right now are telling these new jacks that it's so sweet out here. Come on out here. You can make about 100K. Come on out here. You make about 200K. Yeah, but see what y'all not telling them is the struggles that y'all went through. Y'all went through struggles. Y'all didn't start driving right away. Y'all had to go through the same thing that these new drivers have to go through. But do you guys want to tell them what you have to go through? Maybe you have to go through a couple of trainers before you get in your own truck. Maybe you have to you maybe you have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars before you even get your CDL. Y'all not telling them that. Y'all y'all not telling them the the trials and tribulations that y'all went through. Same thing goes for these so-called guys that tell these new jacks, "Hey, if you have a problem at a company, why don't you go ahead and just buy your own truck?" And you won't even have to worry about all of that. No. See, what you're not telling them is all of the new stuff that they got to worry about. They got to worry about maintenance costs, truck upkeep, all that good stuff. What happened if they get a flat tire? What happened if they get a blowout? Now, when they get a steer tire blowout, let me explain something to you. That ain't no joke. When a steer tire blowout, it blows out the whole front end. Not only that they got to get a new tire, they got to get parts, whatever that blew out, messed up. They probably might have to get a whole new front end. And that's going to take time. That's going to take time. We, we know regular blowouts on the other 18 wheels, except for the two in the front. Yeah, those are simple. Yeah, those get blow out, pay about five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Bam, bam, boom, you back rolling. Ain't no problem. If you get a blowout on the trailer, if the trailer's yours, you're gonna have to get that little that that little mud flap bend back if the rims messed up. But a steer tire blowout, that's a whole nother situation. And what if these new drivers that jumped in the driver's seat to become owner operators and they don't understand the operating costs of a vehicle, they get roped into these crazy ass loads. We got one here from Arlington, Texas, the Daytona Beach, Florida for 1,100 in six miles for sixteen hundred dollars shout out to the trucker shade room for bringing this to our attention and the company that he's talking to or he found the load from is core logistics brokerage this load is supposed to pick up today and deliver monday meaning that you have to take this load over the weekend and you probably have to sit and wait until monday when they open up now, this is going from Arlington, Texas to Daytona Beach. And what, 1,000? Well, you might as well say 1,200, or I'm, I'm just rounding it up 100. So you can do 600 miles a day. You pick it up on Friday, 600 miles on Saturday, 600 miles on Sunday. But some of you guys, I know you guys can push it. I, I know y'all can. Some, some of y'all trucks is open, so y'all could probably get there Sunday. But y'all still sitting, and y'all got to wait until they open up Monday morning to drop it off. So let's listen to the trucker shade room talk about this particular load, because in the video, he talks about how 100 or how 1,106 miles is not worth it for $1,600. Your profit out of this whole deal is going to be $378. And if you don't know no better, I'm a company driver. At least I do know. There's not much coming out of Florida unless you have contracted freight that's coming out of Florida. But if you go back on the low board, ain't nothing too much coming out of Florida. You're going to add the deadhead to Georgia to at least get a load. And considering how you probably operate your fuel or whatever, whatever, that, that, that $300, that $378. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Do not book no like this. Repeat. Do not book no like this. Then it's over the weekend. That means you got to keep that big Monday. Look at this shit. Picking up over there in Texas, going to Florida. It weighs 17,000 pounds. It's going to take up 30 feet of your trailer. They claim it's a partial load, but real talk, this is a full load. I don't give a fuck what you say about that. If they're picking up half of your trailer, it's a full load. 
Look at this dumb ass. For a dollar 45 cent a mile. 1,100 miles for $1,600. Then it's going into Florida. You know what that mean? You ain't gonna find shit coming out of Florida. So you gonna spend that 1600 going in and coming out. Your profit on this low, you know what I'm saying? Cause you ain't gonna find shit coming out of Florida gonna be nothing. Real talk, you running this low for nothing. This is book. You probably running it from nothing off the top. You hear me? When you first pick it up and go into Florida, you probably be running it for nothing. Let's take a look at this book. Look at the operating cost for this load, for the run this load. You're going to spend $517 going into Florida. That's your operating cost. Fuel cost, $704. That's how much you're going to spend on fuel going into Florida. You heard me? And look, you see that profit at $378 that you're supposed to make? You're going to spend that coming out of Florida. You heard me? Because you ain't going to find shit coming out that real talk. That mean you ain't make shit up that load because you're going to be sitting up there mad because you can't find a load. Everything paying mother 1200 for 1200 miles to come out there, you heard me? So you're going to end up deadheading up out there without booking a load because you mad. And guess what? You're going to spend every bit of that $378. So that mean you ain't going to make shit off this load. Let's give them a call and see if they can give us the correct price, you know what I'm saying? Well, you can see a little profit if you do go in there on the real. Let's see what they got to say. Rain wins. Fatality. Now, I know some of you guys are going to be like, well, if, if you run the truck a certain way, different people run trucks different ways. I get it. I understand it. A lot of you veteran guys that have been out here that's doing it for the longest. Yeah, I get it. I understand. You probably might know how to might know how to take 100 here and move 100 there and take 200 here and put 200 there. And then your profit will increase maybe by a couple of hundred dollars. I get it. I get it. You get guys know how to do that but do the new jacks know how to do that no they don't now you guys the the, the older guys y'all know that y'all not going to take this load for no dollar 45 cent into florida florida y'all not going to do that y'all know that and y'all come on here every day all the time to tell people don't take freight don't take cheap freight don't take anything less than $2 a mile. Don't take this. Don't take that. Nobody's listening because these guys just got their trucks and they need to get rolling. So they're going to take what they can because somebody roped them into getting their own truck because they wasn't doing good at a company. Now they got to, instead of sitting, they're not making no money. They got to start getting rolling. And then they're going to get roped in to doing loads like this. You are nothing. You suck. Shao Kahn wins. Fatality. Now he's about to give them a call. And the conversation between him and the broker is some of the funniest stuff that I ever heard, man. Now, I, I was thinking, I, and I agree, 1600 a little low. I was thinking more of 25 ish maybe but he's thinking 33 and i'm like that that's not a that's not bad either nice little profit covers your operating costs and your fuel and you still walking away with about a grand or more no nah, he couldn't do that he couldn't do that he said he can only do 50 more 50 more don't hate Johnny Cage wins. Fatality. Hey, how you doing, butter? Good, how about you? I'm doing good. Man, I was looking at this load you got picking up over there in Texas going into Florida. It's still available? Uh, do you have the shipment ID, brother? You say what, sir? Do you have the shipment ID? Hold on, let me look. It looked like it's 14 pallets picking up at 8, between 8 and 4 and dropping off on Monday or Tuesday. I don't, it don't have no shipping ID on there, though. I don't see now. Picking up when? Um, Over there in Texas. Going to... um. When? Today. So it's going from where to where? From Arlington, to Texas, to... going to um Daytona Te Beach, Texas. Daytona? 
Yes, sir. Oh, here we go. Found it. Right. All right, man. Yeah, I still have this. At Seven a.m. or eight a.m. till four p.m. Delivery is going to be Monday, seven to four. I have uh, seventeen thousand thirty-three pounds, fourteen pallets, casters picking up. You say hazmat? Shopping Monday. Non-hazmat. Oh, all right, all right. And yeah, first come first serve. I gotta post it up at sixteen hundred, brother. I know. I see that, man. You got sixteen hundred on that. That's the most you could do on that. Be honest, man. I might have fifty dollars to work with. Not much. So sixteen fifty for um, eleven hundred and six miles. Hey, man, I don't make. You know, I probably can. Switch. Like I said, I can talk to him about like a, you know he might give me like a seventeen. I just be talking a little bit, but you know. I think it's worth more than that, man. I was trying to see if you can do like um, thirty three hundred or something like that, man. Oh shit! Uh, nah, man, I can't do that. Why not? Nah, man, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> Two thousand. I know, doggone well, you putting the other sixteen hundred in your pocket, man. Look out for me, man. Give me some of that profit you making off that load. How about this? I'll show you a picture. And I'll send it to you. Of the, the peyote, everything, and then you have to take it from my rate once I prove you wrong. Right. Uh, that's what I was trying hey, to see, man. I was trying to get like 32, <laughs> man, if you could, man, on the real. Uh, it's uh, produce season picking up there, so a lot of freight's coming out of Florida. Oh, I got you. A lot of freight? Oh, ain't nothing coming out of Florida. You going there, you dead. You ain't making nothing. Nah, man. No, nah, there's four months a year, man. It's not that crazy because i was looking at it man i ain't gonna make nothing like my profit on this load this saying i'm gonna I mean, make usually, um, it probably was a little more heavier at this time but it's been a little slower this year i got you so that's all you can do at 1650 i mean 1750 but like i told you i was better. man you just went up a whole nother at first you said all you can do is 1650 I, I now know, you say 1750 I, I, man come on with the money man i already told you what i'm doing i already told you what i was doing though i told you i can send you the proof of the billing yeah. So you coming out your I pocket with an extra hundred. You coming out your pocket with an extra what? hundred. That's what you tell them. I mean, it's just more of like I'd rather bring an option than no option. You know, like, but <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be transparent, and I ain't gonna bring a 3300 option. He's gonna tell me to go up myself and like that. Yeah, I got you. That's what I was trying to see, man. I was trying to get the correct price on their load. I know it's worth like 32 going out though. <laughs> Kano wins. They ballot. It sounds as though he's talking to bro like he's a new guy. Like he's doing him a favor. Like, yeah, so I, I could do you a favor by doing uh, $50 more. Later in the conversation, he even ups it to like 150 So instead of 1650 he was offering 1750 Why not come up to 25 bro? Let's meet in the middle. He was asking 33 I, I was thinking more of 25 Maybe he would have did it for 25 I don't know. But the broker couldn't come up past 150 more. And he was saying, oh, well, I I, I, I was going to take that out of my own pocket. Like, try to sweeten the pot. Like, he's like he's taking the L, too, which he's not. But that's how these new drivers, they get roped into this, man. They listen to brokers like this guy sweet talk them into $150 more. Oh, okay, that's cool. $1,700 for one one thousand six one thousand one hundred six six miles. Okay, okay, okay. But and, and the operating costs and and my fuel, I I, I will walk away about five six hundred dollars, bro. Still, that's it. and you still gonna in order to make some money for the week to make it a profitable week. You you taking bits and pieces to try to make a, a a good profitable week, bro. The game is to work smarter, not harder. Especially if you're an owner operator of a truck that you're gonna have to keep the upkeep, maintenance, and fuel insurance, all that good stuff. Suppose you don't get there in time, you're gonna get taxed for that, right? 
I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Be careful. Be careful of what you're telling these young, impressionable new jacks that's coming here into the trucking industry thinking everything's sweet over here. And it's not. It's not sweet at all. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot of late nights. A lot of not getting enough sleep nights. And now you're going to end up messing up your clock. Now you're going to start trying to cheat your clock. Now you're going to try to start and sacrifice your license all because you're trying to make up. Think about that before you even consider buying a truck or consider leasing a truck. $1.45 loads. You guys think it's worth it?